It's like my intro music. is going on gamers this is dude from mmoing and right now i'm just doing a quick live feed here on my twitch channel because i've been working on a lot of projects lately and as some of you have noticed you were in last night that i have a special treat tonight i'm releasing my first craft video i've been doing a lot of DD dungeon craft stuff and i'm doing it in this really cool way that i really like the style of the things that are coming out my kid is freaking out right now i don't know why why are you freaking out i said why are you freaking out well, either way, I'm going to show you guys real quick what I'm working on. And I'll have a video out on how I made these in a couple days. So let's go ahead and check out the table. Just going to bring this up a little bit. You guys should be able to see. So this is just like styrofoam cutouts that I cut out of a couple pieces of regular styrofoam. Came in a box packing set. And this is a green wash. It's just green paint, 50% paint, 50% water. So it's really... Uh, moist and drippy um i am going to go ahead and grab a piece of paper before i do this so let's go ahead and try this out i'm just going to take my paint here and we're just going to dab it on here just like that this is a wash so it's basically water that's why it soaks into all the little holes it's just water and green paint 50 50 mix i didn't put any uh soap into it some people use laundry detergent to kind of make it streak at the top but this is actually exactly what I'm looking for. I'm just going to do one coat on these, and then they're going to be pretty much done. They're just going to be grass hills to attach my trees to since they are styrofoam. I put toothpicks in the bottom of my trees, and they click right into place wherever I need them for whatever campaign I am doing. Basically, just want to make sure you get in all the little cracks so there's no white showing on here. And that's pretty much it. That one's done. And the same thing to these guys. So all this extra paint here I can use, but it's not as easy to use that extra paint as I would like it to be because it's not as wet and washy. This is pretty much how I make my bases, and I just made these for today for a forest scene and a campaign that I'm going to be doing on Discord. And the way I do my campaigns on Discord is they are casual games. They're not a four-hour sit-down. It's more of a slow game where I will be introducing characters as they create character sheets on my Discord. And then I'll be taking pictures of the scenes so you guys can see what is available there to do as you play an IDM through Discord. And we're not going to be talking to each other. This entire campaign that I'm doing on Discord is all just text-based. So it's going to be kind of cool if you guys want to jump in there. All you have to do is send me a character sheet. It's loosely based on D&D rules, but there's a lot less worrying about stats and more RNG just to make the game fun and the story progress quickly. Um, you'll have plenty of time to check your phone every couple days. If you're interested in playing, it's not something that you have to sit down for hours to do. You just jump in and check Discord whenever you normally would and see what's happening in the story. And if there's an action, I'll send you a message saying that it is your action. And you can take up to three days to respond if you need to. Basically, you're just going to tell me what your action is going to be, and that's how the whole campaign is going to be played. Um, I know there's a place called Mythweavers that I found on the internet last night. And Mythweavers is really badass because it's basically exactly what I'm saying, and I'm going to join a few of their campaigns that I've seen on there as well. But this one's way more laid back than a lot of the ones I've seen on Mythbusters. Mythbusters? Not Mythbusters. Mythweavers. Because I have a lot less rules and guidelines and regulations about what you can and can't do. You pretty much can do whatever you want in my game. And we'll see what happens. But I'm trying to get some more people in. I think there's only two people in the game right now. And I'm one of them. So there's only one other person playing. We need at least six to start. So if you're interested in playing a casual D&D game that does not require you to actually speak or do anything, you can easily go to my Discord link, which is in the bottom of this video, underneath the video, there's a link to it, and you can do that. What's up, baby? I'm live right now, what are you talking about? What you wanna say, girl? My wife just walked out and she's staring at me funny. Nothing? Apparently she's got nothing to say. She laughed at me, 
But yeah, so you guys can totally jump into my Discord right now. Give me the character information for a character that you can either create right now. I'm looking for level 1 to 5 for the character for this particular campaign. But it is live right now on Live RP channel in my Discord. If you check out the player channel under the Live RP tag, um, it will give you the instructions on how the game is run and how I'm going to be DMing it. If you're interested, do it for real. But that's pretty much all I'm going to tell you guys right now. This was a very, very short live stream. I'm probably going to use this background for something. That's why I'm kind of just letting it paint in. Kind of like it. It's very uh, artistic-like, right? So there we go. Made some more. These got to dry. And I'll see you guys in a future video. Check out my YouTube channel. I'm posting my craft videos. My first one we posted tonight. So hopefully you guys will check that out and enjoy it. Awesome. Keep MMOing.